Captain Jack Sparrow man, undeniable, one of the greatest, if not the greatest, pirate in cinematic history. And now we're back with a fifth instalment of the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, Dead Men Tell No Tales, or in my country, uh, England, it's called Salazar's Revenge. But I'm not going to call it that because it's a stupid title because it's a little bit misleading, not going to lie. Salazar doesn't actually have that much screen time uh, anyway, so... I feel like Dead Men Tell No Tales makes more sense, especially when the title sequence is Salazar saying Dead Men Tell No Tales, then the title Salazar's Revenge comes up on screen. It just, it just it was stupid. It was really stupid. They should have just kept to the normal title. But it doesn't matter because I've seen the movie now, and here is the lowdown for Pirates of the Caribbean. So I've always been a huge fan of this franchise, like I've said before. And at the first two, I really love. I know they get worse as they go along, but there's not a Pirates of the Caribbean film that I particularly dislike. Um, I dislike elements of some of them, but the first two, I feel like, are brilliant, brilliant movies, great action-adventure films, and I'm not going to lie, every time a new one comes out, I get excited. I was very excited for this new Pirates of the Caribbean film. Even when the reviews started coming out, I was like, I don't care, I'm, I'm probably going to enjoy it, and hey, I actually had quite a bit of fun with Pirates of the Caribbean Salazar's Revenge. Yeah, I don't like calling it that. But yeah, the plot is actually pretty decent. It follows uh, Henry Turner, um, which I don't know if this is a spoiler at this point, but I'm going to say it anyway, so if it's a spoiler, I'm very sorry. But he is Will Turner's son, and he's looking for the Trident of Poseidon for reasons that we probably won't go into, because I said that, you probably already know. But hey, uh, he's looking for the Trident of Poseidon. Jack Sparrow is also looking for the Trident of Poseidon because he needs it to... Um, do his own thing, and then we've got another character played by uh, Caius Godelario, uh, or Delario, I don't really know how to say her name, I mean, I, the, the girl from Skins, Effie from Skins, so they go on a, uh, like, it's sort of like a road trip, but on the sea, kind of, because the Pirates of the Caribbean films usually have a bit more action, and this one has some really great action, but it's more about the trip, um, and uh, sometimes it feels a little bit long, sometimes it's very good, uh, and that's basically what I expected. The film is definitely what I expected. I expected it to be really enjoyable, quite fun, but not perfect, and that's exactly what I got out of it. So, as always, uh, Johnny Depp just relishes in the role. He is the perfect casting for Jack Sparrow. Always has been, always will be, um, and he was really good in this movie, as you would expect. Uh, the newcomers are actually really good. I thought they would just be there, but they were both really good and both had a reason to be there. And uh, I particularly enjoyed Kaya Skoda Delaria's performance. She was really good. She actually had some quite funny scenes. The whole horologist thing was very funny. Uh, the bit from the trailer uh, where the pirates mistake horologist for, well, I'll let you figure that one out. Um, <laughs> it went on for a bit long. The joke was sort of dragged out a bit and it kind of became less funny towards the end. But uh, that was really good. And it was good to see, even if just for a very short time. So don't expect this to be Will Turner's movie, but Orlando Bloom does return as Will Turner for a short amount of time. And uh, yeah, it was good to see him back. It was good to see um, Will Turner back in the Pirates franchise. So I imagine if there's a sequel, he will be one of the main focuses because there's uh, a post credit scene, which uh, if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about, but I won't tell you what it is. Um, so yeah, like I said, it was great to Captain Jack, but at first, when I started watching this at first, there is this, like, it starts off with, um, you know, exposition and everything, and then it goes into Captain Jack and his antics, and at first I was watching it, I was like, something feels a little off about Captain Jack Sparrow, I mean, is it Johnny Depp hamming it up a bit? I don't know, he seemed like he was taking it a bit too far, and uh, usually I love the performances, but at first I was like, what, what is going on? Uh, because he almost acted too drunk, which was like, yeah, I know Captain Jack Sparrow is a drunken pirate, but it's like, do you need to do it to this extent? I mean, it didn't get on my nerves too much because I got used to it, but it just feels like he's so used to the role now that he just goes straight in for it, and it's like, he's lost in the character, and I don't think he realises, but it's not a bad thing, it's good that he does that. But yeah, like I said, the action is cool. Like the first scene, the bit in the trailer when you see Jack downing the bottle of rum and he's like sliding down, uh, that was a really great sequence. I really liked it. Great way to open the film. Um, some of them, the CGI in some scenes do look a bit off. Like Captain Salazar himself, played by Javier Bardem, like I said, he doesn't have the hugest amount of screen time. He's just sort of there to follow this crew along the way. Um... But his CGI actually did look quite decent. But some of the crew, like some of them have pieces of their body missing. So they're like a floating head with no neck or something. And it didn't look too good. And the ship itself kind of looked pretty awful in a way. Like the CGI for that ship. I didn't really like the CGI for the ship too much. 
Um, but you know, it, it, look, it looked fine in certain scenes, certain scenes didn't. So that's what I'll say. Some of the CGI is really good. Some of the CGI is not so good. Uh, Jeffrey Rush is back as Captain Barbosa. Um, his role in the film is actually a lot different to what I expected. He's not in the film a huge deal. He's not the main focus of the film. He sort of takes the route that On Stranger Tides did where he's in it a little bit less than some characters. But he has quite an emotional story arc and he was actually probably the best story arc in this film with uh, the character that he has it with. Who I won't spoil because I don't want people to be spoiled for this movie like I said before. But uh, his chemistry with uh, certain characters is really good. And I did love the chemistry between Brendan Thwaites, I think that's his name, the guy who plays Henry Turner and Caius Godelario, they were good and they both interacted really well with our uh, main character, Captain Jack Sparrow. So that was really good. As always, the score, fucking love it. Like I was walking out of this film just whistling that theme tune all night because it's just so good. It's one of the best movie soundtracks ever. The Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, love it, hate it. You gotta admit, that soundtrack is fucking brilliant and every time you hear it you're like yeah that's definitely Pirates of the Caribbean and yes I love it so yeah true story when I was younger I actually wanted to be a pirate because of this franchise so as you can tell this franchise uh Pirates of the Caribbean 1 and 2 they really have quite a high place in my childhood uh growing up because I'm not too old so when I was growing up these movies were coming out and I was watching them uh, I remember seeing At World's End in the cinema actually and I wasn't even 12 when it came out and the films are 12 eh? and I was really worried, I was like I'm not going to get to see it and I got to see it, uh, like it's not the best Pirates film but uh, I loved it when I was younger and that's the thing, I've loved every one of these when I first seen them, watched some of them now and then they're not too good but this one, um, yeah I really really enjoyed Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, I had a really good time with it. Uh, the Ghost Pirates, yeah, they're a little distracting at points, but I love the crew. I love Javier Bardem's performance. He's really good. Um, I just love the accent. Jack Sparrow. I just, I, I love it. It's great. I love how, what he did with the film. And uh, yeah, overall, I enjoyed a lot about this movie. There are flaws. There are definitely flaws in this film. But would I want to see a sixth one? Well, yeah, I would. I don't want Captain Jack Sparrow's adventures to be over. By the way, this ended... Um, it has a really good ending. I fucking love the ending. It got really good towards the end. Like, a lot of it did drag on. It did feel, I mean, I think it's the shortest of all the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. And at certain points, it did feel too long for its own good. But by the end, I was really invested. Like, and then it just sort of, it ends. And you're like, okay, I do want to see more from this universe. But it's like, also at the same time, when you see how it does end, with the certain characters uh, taking different paths and everything, you're sort of going to think to yourself... Well, how can they actually do another... But again, you know, it, it's Pirates of the Caribbean. They can do anything with it. Um, you know, so whatever. It doesn't really matter. But yeah, I did have a lot of fun with this. And I do recommend if you're a Pirates of the Caribbean fan, you're probably going to love it. It's better than 3 and 4, in my opinion, but not as good as 1 and 2. Uh, so have you seen Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, or Salazar's Revenge, depending on where you're from? Uh, let me know what you think of it. Comment below. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.